all right y'all welcome back so we are going to be checking out some more bitcoin information here that's what we do here on the channel we actually just educate we spend our time educating making investments things like that trying to you know build up this wealth slowly but surely so yeah that being said if you want to join us along on the journey be sure to subscribe and yeah, let's jump straight into it there is a massive amount to cover here i'm going to jump right into this arthur hayes on twitter says my trad five birdies his friends are telling me somebody big got smoked and is dumping all crypto. No idea if this is true. I won't name names, but let the, I'm letting the fam know. If you're hearing the same, let me know pretty much what happened here. So one of these giant traditional finance guys got a little greedy and went over leverage and he got liquidated. That's what I posted at Sir Crypto Tips if you wanna follow me. I'm very outspoken on Twitter because I think there needs to be some guidance in this space and there's not a lot of that going on. Moving on, we have Ben Rickard. Now he is very much a, he's the guy in the big short, right? He's, he was played by, uh, what's his name, Heidi? Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt, okay, so he says, uh, crisis mode, the Japanese market is collapsing. 6% uh, Japanese bonds, future circuit breakers are being triggered. Circuit breakers are for stock market because uh, traditional finance people can't handle a lot of volatility. So they have uh, these circuit breakers that stop the volatility from actually happening. And also Robinhood turned off their 24 hour trading option as well. Their own little version of plunge protection. Look that up. Okay, so he also says US futures are down heavily in pre-market crypto and gold are all under pressure. WW3 starting. So moving on, we have <laughs> this was a little while ago during that 60 minute smackdown there was 366 million dollars liquidated from the crypto market over the past dur during that time that we flew down like five four or five thousand dollars that was beautiful guys that was amazing okay this mean this means that open interest leverage players are getting smashed and actually there was more after this happened there was more leverage players getting smacked so all together it's about a billion dollars of liquidations that happen and if i can find it here sorry i'm gonna have to fast forward this because this is incredible okay so there were this isn't this is nuts bitcoin open interest is down six billion dollars guys that is beautiful so the lower the, the amount of leverage in bitcoin in the entire system the more healthy we can rise up. And I, I know I keep saying that over and over again, but it's true. I sound like a broken record and I'm gonna cover that some more as well. There's, like I said, there's so much to cover here. So, okay, now Warren Buffett, let's go to, onto him right now. He just sold $75.5 billion worth of stock. I heard that. Okay, and so now his cash reserves, check this chart out. His cash reserves are at $277 billion. He is flush with cash right now it would be crazy if he threw that in bitcoin i highly doubt it he's spoken out against crypto but i mean a lot of these these older guys who kind of stuck in their ways some people start to switch over though so i wonder if he would you know if he would do that people think oh he's gonna buy bitcoin with it i don't think I so i it. mean we all heard, we all know what his buddy said what what did he say it's rat poison that's what uh charlie munger his best friend who recently passed away said about bitcoin rat poison i, I kind of like rat poison i guess that's pretty sweet cool man all right moving on we have the japanese stock market suffering the worst losses since 1987 so people are freaked out they're like oh my gosh global recession blah 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 and if you want to understand where my stance is on the glo on a global recession go back to yesterday's video i cover that very well and very straightforward moving on we have donald trump saying the stock market is crashing i told you so Kalam K kamala doesn't have a clue biden is sound asleep all caused by inept u.s leadership um yeah really interesting considering that he didn't bring up uh, march 2020 when we saw Bitcoin collapse to $3,500. But what happened right after that? What happened? We had a V-shaped recovery and we went to $69,000 from $3,500. I simply don't care about this, this, uh, this move in the market right now. And I'm gonna explain to you more of why I don't care. Okay, also Japan 
accounts for approximately that is a fact um smart money is buying right now uh, smart money is buying i'm buying like I, i'll buy every time i see a dip my conviction is very strong in this it's, it's very strong in bitcoin um i know where I, I know where i see this space as a whole going i actually started out in another sector in the space i started out in nfts and i had heavy convictions towards certain parts of nfts which could still potentially play out but i think the more i started to educate on the space as a whole and realize some of my convictions were misguided being placed in smaller segments when I could go to the main thing that I actually believe in, which I, is big, Bitcoin is a huge part of that. There's other things, of course, there's other altcoins and smaller uh, market cap things that I'm invested in. But Bitcoin, I, I do believe Bitcoin is the is the future king of the world. Like, I, I believe that I'm, I'm one of those now. I'm one of those people. So I'm a believer. 10% of the global crypto cryptocurrency trading volume. Uh, and so they're probably going to dump some coin, which means that leveraged longs are going to get decimated even further. This is what you saw, saw happen. You saw massive amounts of liquidations. And okay, so check this chart out. This is, this is open interest. Um, so open interest has dropped significantly, like massive amounts of, like I said, six billion dollars of open interest wiped out which is beautiful guys this is what i keep saying if you're part of our learningcrypto.com member you will know that i keep bringing up open interest and the lower open interest is the more we can rise in a healthy manner if there's a lot of leverage and bunch of gamblers just speculating on the price hoping the price is going to go up and getting liquidated on every little move down or whatever it's going to be very hard for us to get out of this range that we are in. But this did clear out a lot of people. It's making a lot of people miserable. And there's that old saying in, in, uh, in trading, you buy when there's blood in the streets. And we definitely bought. I bought today around like $52,000. Um, I would consider buying even lower. If we can get like significantly lower than that, that would be amazing. Um, it doesn't mess with the bull market. And that makes a lot of sense. I mean, more and more people are getting liquidated. Like usually the market, the market doesn't go where everybody thinks that it's going to go. So it's good seeing the liquidation. And personally, when they just happen, I'm just going to keep buying. I'm just going to keep purchasing every time, every time the price goes lower. Like that's, that's really all I do is I DCA. Like you do your initial research, you, you, you build your conviction. If you have conviction or something, you just DCA anytime it goes down. That's the best way to approach it um if if it's a good investment obviously i mean doing that with something not you don't have as much conviction in or is maybe not a good investment that could be detrimental and and it could destroy you but i mean bitcoin i believe is a safe bet personally for me for me i mean i'm willing to take that risk on bitcoin i believe in it and you know what's more unfortunate for these leveraged players is that they are losing their position violently at the worst time guys because yeah. I'm going to cover why I think that's the worst time to get liquidated. Okay. Look at this chart. This is the chart of 2016 and 2018. Okay. There was the first drop 38%. The second drop, this is during a bull market, by, by the way, we haven't even dropped 30, what? 33%. Okay. <laughs> first one 38 percent negative 38 percent the second one negative 33 percent the third one which is kind of where we are right now uh minus 38 the next one minus 36 percent the next one and minus 29 percent the last one that's during a bull market guys and we went parabolic at that time so finally we got a a crash that is kind of normal for this space i was kind of wondering like Am I going crazy here? Like, is, is, is crypto going soft right now? Well, we just saw it. It's not. It's back in full force. And I'm very bullish right now. And, and this should show you that instead of getting super emotional about your, your trading position or whatever, chill out a little bit. Like, if you, wanna, if you need guidance, follow my channel. Like, we, like, when I saw four days ago, uh, when when everybody was calling a bottom around 60 something thousand dollars. I'm like, no, 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 guys I think we're gonna nuke down below sixty thousand dollars and boy did we nuke and it saved our our subscribers a lot of money um, Especially, you know because they're not piling in at those prices. So yes I think that we are going to bottom very soon and I think we're also gonna see one hundred thousand dollars 
before a lot of people think that we're going to see $100,000. I think it's going to come quicker than most people think, even though this may look like just completely not complete nightmare or whatever. I'm very calm right now. Heidi is very. That's what I hate. I, I don't want it to come. I don't. I don't want it to come too quick because I'm still trying to buy more. So I'm actually, you know, I, I get nervous when the dips happen. I get nervous when it happens because I always feel like I'm not going to be able to buy enough. But is there ever really a such thing as enough? Like that's that's the biggest thing with me. So yeah, I mean, I'm not looking forward to it going up just yet. I'm hoping it stays down here a decent amount of time, but. That's just me. Um, yeah. Very calm, and I hope you guys are calm as well after this. Anyways, that's all I have. Please like and subscribe. All right, y'all. So there we have it. This was a great video. Very, very good video. Um, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Check out his channel as well. Um, be sure to come back. I mean, we will keep going over a lot of information that's out there. There's so much information. I know a lot of people don't have time to go and search for all the different information that's out there. So yeah, that's where we pick it up. We, we do a lot of research daily. We do a lot of informing ourselves and staying educated here. So yeah, like this could this could be your place where you kind of vibe, chill, and hear what I'm I'm up to and what I'm getting into, and be on this learning journey with me if you want to. But yeah, that being said, um, hopefully you all are you're stacking your bags, getting those bags looking right, get your investments looking right. Um, be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and I will catch you all on the next one. Peace out, fam.